Hey there, thank you so much for stopping by. If it's your first time here, welcome to Disney Fan in Japan. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a recent haul from one of the biggest dollar store companies in Japan, Daiso. Now what's especially surprising about Daiso this year is that they've been really seriously upping their Disney game. As in, almost every single month, they are releasing new merchandise, adding on new inventory to already release merchandise line, which is unheard of, especially with the Disney merch that they carry. I mean, I haven't seen so much Disney merch in such a short period of time, and it's absolutely amazing being a Disney fan. I mean, who doesn't love getting Disney merch on the dollar? And on top of that, the merchandise that is coming out is not like your typical dollar store quality, it is actually decent quality. And I'm going to be showing you some of the things I picked up so you can see for yourself just what I mean by that. I mean, no pun intended, but it's a great time to be a Disney fan in Japan. So I'm gonna start off by showing you a merchandise line that is not so new, but they still do carry a bunch of products from that line. And I'm talking about the princess line, which was featuring three princesses, Ariel, Rapunzel, and Belle, to my surprise, because most stores really just just carry Ariel and Rapunzel because those are the two big princesses in Japan. Um, so for Belle to be featured, especially in Daiso, that is almost unheard of. And so I had to pick up a few items because she's my girl. And we'll start off with this adorable pouch. It is meant to be a makeup pouch. It is not so big. It's about 16 by 12 centimeters or as indicated by the tag here. And this one is a dollar. A dollar. That's amazing, right? Got a zipper on the top. This is what the inside looks like. Very plain yellow. Nothing too special. Very simple. The design wrapping around the entire pouch is quite adorable. It's basically a whole bunch of Belle's profiles in silhouette form. And she is just scattered throughout the entire pouch. And surrounding the portrait silhouettes are very simple flourishes and some roses and some flowers over here. And I would say the material is like a textured plastic. It's not hard plastic, it's a soft plastic, almost like faux leather, but I really wouldn't want to call it faux leather because it's too soft to be faux leather. And it does say plastic on the tag, so let's go with that. And I also picked up a microfiber cleaning cloth that of course has bell on it. It has a different kind of design as opposed to the silhouette design, it is actually her. It actually shows her face and her body. Let me just take that out for you. So this is what the inside looks like. It has a preview of the actual design and then the pink here is actually part of the cloth. It is the back of the cloth. As you can see here when I open it up. So the front of the cloth has all of Belle. Some parts of the design just feature her face and then over here it's a full body design. And just like the pouch I showed you earlier, what I really like about this is that there are other smaller designs that are scattered throughout the background. It's not just a plain background. It has a pattern of roses and other simple flowers and even the enchanted rose right there. Oh my goodness. So that's the front and the back. It's a very lovely soft pink. I really like this shade. You don't normally find her paired up with this kind of pink. Usually it's like gold or yellow or even red but it's a nice compliment especially with this type of design so that's that let's move on to cosmetics not too shortly after the princess merchandise line came out that there was an increase in disney related cosmetics and accessories so it seems that daiso is really picking up on the fact that there is a big market for young girls because they all go to the dollar store it's very affordable for them to go and i think that's pretty smart of daiso because the biggest demographic that tends to shop at daiso are in fact girls and mothers so there's definitely been a boom in terms of like Disney jewelry, accessories, merchandise, even household items. It's insane and it's amazing. So anyway, let's get to the cosmetics. They had released a whole line of makeup brushes starting from 100 yen and going up to 200 yen for the bigger brushes. So I'll start off with showing you the smaller brushes first. I picked up three of them right here. These brushes came in two different colors. There was one of baby pink and the one I have here is of baby blue. They all have the Mickey at the top to indicate that this is a of the Disney merchandise lineup. And what I especially like about these brushes is that, as you can see here, the ends of the brush matches the color of the brush handle. So because this handle is baby blue, you can see that the tip of the brush is also in baby blue. And that goes the same for this 
eyeshadow base brush where the tip is also baby blue. I think that's pretty clever. And likewise, the pink brushes would have pink tip ends. Here's a big brush. And because it's bigger, it costs a little bit more at about 200 yen. And this one is a powder brush. And similar to the smaller brushes, it also has a colored tip. And on top of that, if you'll take a closer look at the brush handle, there is a Mickey head icon decorating the handle. And you can find that in all the brush handles. As for the bristle quality, I tested out a lip brush and I've been using that for like a couple of months now. It, I haven't experienced bristles falling out when I use it. I haven't um, had bristles bending or uh, feeling rough to the touch. It's been like shockingly pleasant. The quality of Daiso merchandise has recently been like shocking to me in a good way of course so personally I find that it's no problem and just to try it out and give it a shot I think it's worth the risk so be sure to stop by a dollar store I mean this line came out a couple of months ago and they still carry a lot of stock of these brushes and much more than the ones I just showed you so it's definitely worth a stop by next up I have here is oil blotting paper if you don't know what that is, it's very thin paper that you can use to blot out the oil or the shine away from your face. It's super useful, especially in the hot, humid months of summer. And they made a line of Disney princesses. The one I picked up is of Cinderella, just to match the blue brushes that I also picked up. But they have a whole bunch of other princesses on the designs. I've seen Snow White, Anna and Elsa, Rapunzel, Alice, even though she's not a princess. And you basically have the princesses featured on the front cover of the packaging design and you get a little preview of what the oil blotting paper design looks like. So here is what the Cinderella blotting paper design is like. You have a silhouette body image of the princess and surrounding her are symbols related to the princess herself. So you can see the crown over there and there's a clock because it is Cinderella. So basically each blotting paper is uniquely designed depending on the princess that it's being featured in. Next up, I'll show you one piece of stationery I picked up. I don't really want to suck up too much on stationery. I feel kind of sad when I end up running out of them, which totally defeats the purpose of buying stationery in the first place, right? And I know I'm totally being irrational about this, but it's just that's just how I feel when it comes to cute stationery and unfortunately for me Japan has a lot of cute stationery and this one over here is actually a stamp and yes this is a dollar you're paying a dollar for three stamps and this one features Donald but I've also seen Mickey and Winnie the Pooh and princesses and cars and Monster Zinc basically they have three different colored designs. A few of them have English, I don't remember which ones, but this one has Japanese. And with their three different designs, they come in three different colors. And what's also great about them is that they come pre-inked. That means you don't need to get an ink pad or a stamp pad to use these stamps. They already come with ink inside of the actual stamp um, compartment so you can just stamp away. So all the stamps on the top have a little design featuring the character and each level corresponds to a different design. So the top one here is of this top design, the middle one is of this one, and the bottom one is of this one. If you're wondering what the Japanese means, the top one means you did it, the middle one means you tried or good effort, and the last one means hang in there or keep trying. So it's a very encouraging stamp. This is something geared towards teachers or if you have children and they're working on a workbook at home and you're checking their work and you can give them a little uh, stamp as a reward for their hard efforts. On the line of stationery, but it is not Disney related, but I wanted to share with you anyway because it is from Daiso. Daiso does carry a bunch of Sanrio merchandise. Sanrio is basically the company that's responsible for bringing you Hello Kitty, Pachaco, um, Pom Pom Pudding, and Little Twin Stars, and of course my personal favorite, Gretama. And the first one I want to show you is this masking tape. It's so cute. I love Gretama. He just cracks me up. I want his life. Basically, he's my spirit animal. And anyway, you see the design over here, the masking tape design. It is of him in many different forms and poses. And here is a preview of the actual tape. It is a very soft yellow and that's about the only color next to the uh, black line art, basically. Very simple design, but I think really works well with him. 
and oh my gosh, you have to check out the character merchandise section for the um, zipper bags that they carry because some of the character design is just so, so good. And this one is, of course, of Kudetama. Let me just pull one out for you. I realize that he might be a little hard to see because it is a clear package. So let me just put a white cardboard behind it so you can get a better look at the design itself. There he is doing his Gudetama thing and it's in English! And it's great the design doesn't cover the entire bag so you can see the contents of what's inside the bag. I think that's pretty clever. This particular zipper bag package comes with 30 bags and they are a small size. I also picked up a somewhat larger size. It is also of Gudetama and it's also transparent so you can see through the bag to see the contents inside. Let me just pull one out for you as well. It actually has two different designs. There's a front and a back design. So here's the front one. This is of him in the half eggshell and the Japanese up here says pantsu so he's literally wearing half an eggshell like pants which is why it says pantsu and you can see in the background is a different design of him lying down being all lazy and at the bottom of here it says his name Gudetama and in case you were wondering the bag is not flimsy both bags are not flimsy at all they are like quality bags they are like what you would find of the Ziploc bags I would feel pretty confident putting these bags in my purse and not getting worried that they would get scratched up or they would tear because of all this other stuff that gets jumbled up in there like I said Daiso is really upping their game oh my gosh I almost forgot about this one because I started using it a week ago and so I had it stashed away on my shelf somewhere this is one of the newer ones, and this is of the Mickey merchandise line that released, um, I would say late spring. I actually did a video of all the merchandise that they featured in that particular lineup, so I'll leave a link to that in the description in case you'll be interested in knowing what kind of items came out. But even now, many weeks later, they're still slowly adding on new items onto that merchandise line. And this happened to be one of them, refillable bottles. And there were three different types of bottles and they were like a whole bunch of different designs. I remember seeing a Pooh Bear one and there was Mickey and Minnie and then there was another one that was uh, of the Sweets Cafe. And of course, this one I have in my hand, which is the Mickey head one. And this particular one, they had of two designs. One was of black and gray and white, and I picked up the multicolored one or the rainbow one. So here's a closer look at this. It's just Mickey heads wrapped around the entire bottle. So cute. And the top lid of it is white. When you open it up, they come with this catch or something. I really don't know what it is. I often just take it out and just use it as it is. I think it's meant to act like a spout. I could be wrong because there is a dedicated hole there. I wouldn't put hot drinks or hot water in this because it's made of plastic. So it's better to just be safe and assume that it won't take well to hot liquids. Okay, so let's do a quick overview of all the things I just showed you. There's about 12 items here and the total came out to 1300 yen, which is unbelievable for the quality, for the designs, for all the stuff that I got and the quality that they were at. That is not too bad, I would say. Definitely stop by a Daiso if you're ever in Japan. It's really, really worth stopping by. You never know what you'll find. They're constantly rotating merchandise. The things you'll see there one week will change one week later. It's always a fun trip at the dollar store. I hope you enjoyed looking through at some of the Disney and Sanrio stuff that Daiso carries. Because I live in Japan, I get to share with you a lot of the magic that goes on in here. So if you're interested in that content, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me, and I'll see you in the next video!